Hi Capricorn, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for the month of September. This is just a monthly reading. Typically my readings are love readings. We'll see whatever comes up. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I have uh, decided to move you to the top of the list. So you're up first. Month of September 2018. Ooh. Love yourself first. Your self respect makes you more romantically attractive. Interesting. Love yourself first. One more for Capricorn. Too many. One more for Capricorn. Well, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So this appears to be that you're moving on from something because you love yourself. That's what this looks like to me. Now this could be even letting go of a grudge. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moment. So you could be experiencing love as you release. You know, you could be releasing a grudge, anxiety, resentment, or even a past lover. You decide to just open your heart again, perhaps. Love yourself first. Hmm. Capricorn. Oh, oh, heartache, grief. Yikes. So there is some sadness here. There's some sadness. There's some sort of suffering. Hurt. Hurt over something. Mm. There could have been a relationship that you're having to release, I'm not sure, but this is, you know, realizing that you have another opportunity. Giving up on something that hurt, perhaps. Still, still bothering you, though. It's still bothering you. It is. Look at it. Look at it. It's very... There's a lot of thought going on about what has happened in the past and that's why forgiving and learning is here if somebody may want a relationship with you and you're reluctant to let them in goodness so Capricorn you guys are going through a bit of mental turmoil this month you are a bit I mean you may be feeling mentally trapped like in your head oh <sighs> afraid to step out of your comfort zone because you've been hurt so badly yep yep you have been hurt pretty badly and it is really consuming you You know, it feels as though you're afraid. You're afraid to come together. You're afraid to to work together. You're afraid to make compromises. Afraid to open your heart. Three, three, three. Three, three, three. Growth, change, change is on the horizon. It's like the universe is bringing you this gift, this change, and you're afraid. You're being asked to remove what no longer serves you. Love yourself first. Do what's right for you.
somebody hurt you really bad and now you have lost some of your own self-respect and you're being called to take it back release that hurt king of coins in reverse you may be burying yourself in everything but love there you are you know trying to to push love to the side This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is, you know, needing to see something from a new perspective. You're sacrificing yourself for something that hurt you. You're letting your mind, your thoughts control your future. You know, and that's what it is, right? You're letting it control any growth that's wanting to happen. It's like the universe is, is bringing you an opportunity and you're afraid to take it. You're sacrificing yourself for something that hurt you. It's still, it's still consuming you. It's still controlling you. The past is controlling you. Rejection is a big deal here. You've been rejected. You've been rejected. Therefore, you are not allowing this new opportunity to blossom you really need to take a time out to become consciously aware of what you're worth capricorn and where you're going and what you want your future to look like i mean how long do you want to be mentally stuck mentally stuck there's an opportunity for happiness for a relationship but you have to take a time out to step back and become aware of your future. You know, what do you want your future to look like in three years from now? Do you want to keep, look like this? It's time for you to step outside of your shell. It's time for you to step outside of your comfort zone. It's time for you to open up. To let the let go of that loneliness. I see loneliness here. You need to let go of it. It's protection. You're protecting yourself from getting hurt again. But lonely in the meantime. So... You know, it feels as though it's time for you to look at things from a new perspective. It's like, you know, 333, three, three, your prayers have been heard, okay? They've heard your suffering. They've heard you wishing for love. Deep down, deep down, your subconscious, you want this. But the fact that you have been hurt so badly is consuming your mind and holding you back from allowing this to grow. That negative thinking ain't doing nothing for you. Whoever hurt you, whoever hurt you, okay, really this badly to the point where, you know, your hand is over your heart. Like, I'm not sure if I can let you pass this hand. Okay, I'm not right past this barrier. Okay. Whoever this person is that hurt you, they weren't well suited for you. Sorry about that. I had to take that call. Um... Let me get back to this. The person that you were dealing with that hurt you wasn't a good suitor. This person only brought you down. So you're continuing to let them bring you down by allowing them to control you to this day. It's time for you to move on, whoever this reading is for. This reading will not resonate with every single person. Yeah, there's no chance of reconciliation with whoever this person is that hurt you. There isn't no no real long term. So my suggestion is to release it, to forgive and let go like this. This this card and this card are virtually the same meaning. The judgment reversed with forgiving and learning. That's what this is about. Whoever you were dealing with that lied to you, that didn't bring any good into your life, you need to forgive. 
release and move on. Okay, because there's an opportunity here for happiness. I apologize for answering the phone. My son is in rehab and he only gets to call once in a while. And so when I answered, I had to answer it. Normally I wouldn't. Where's the last card? Here it is. Um, somebody is rejecting a new beginning. There's an opportunity for a fresh start, a new start. If you could take a risk, if you could allow yourself to go with this. There is a feeling of, I don't want to be taken advantage of. You fear being taken advantage of. Somebody wants to have a relationship with you. Somebody does. And you are really afraid of being naive. You know, I don't want to act naive in this situation. Therefore, you're sacrificing your own happiness by still letting this situation control you. The negative thoughts over what happened in the past control you from having this fresh new beginning. You have to forgive, release, and move on. But you're, you, you're unable to master your thoughts at this time. You're unable to master your emotions. There's great fear. Great, great, great fear. Fear is controlling you. There is. Okay? So, therefore, you're unable to move forward with this new, new beginning. But... It's, it's time for you to put yourself first. It's time for you to do the right thing for you. It's time for you to be honest with yourself. It's time for you to make a final decision. The final decision to move on. Justice or karma is bringing you something better. Capricorn. You were involved in a one-sided situation before and you don't know what you deserve. The rejection from the past is still haunting you. You don't know what you deserve. That's what this card means. Continuing to let this consume your thoughts is going to continue to bring unbalance into your life. It's time to balance out those scales. It's time for you to let go of what doesn't serve you and stop resisting this change, this new beginning. Let the old die. It's time to become alive again, Capricorn. It's time to stop being dishonest with yourself. And wake up, refusing to accept the truth of a situation. That's what this is. There's a lack of clarity. You're confused. There, there, there is. It's like I'm, I'm comfortably numb. But you have the resources, the power. To release, to manifest, to get whatever you want. By the way, this situation that is being offered to you right now, I think you're being offered a new opportunity. You're resisting it. I see that you're resisting it because you're still comfortably numb in some situation. It's something you've manifested in your subconscious. Subconsciously, they are bringing you something that you want but you're rejecting it you're rejecting it out of you know safety you you know you're only robbing yourself you're only hurting yourself by letting these these negative thoughts of what was may happen again
be careful. You don't want to end up alone, right? You don't want to be lonely forever. There's a, somebody is offering you genuine love, Capricorn. They have really, really good intentions for you. Could be with a water sign. Could be with a, any sign. Whoever this person is, they have good intentions for love. But you're rejecting this opportunity for growth. You may have been hurt by somebody that was very controlling. And now you may be trying to protect yourself to the point where it's only hurting yourself. You're being unreasonable by not allowing this new opportunity to blossom. You're only hurting yourself. <laughs> There's a lot of resent and bitterness and loneliness. And you're not seeing things clearly. You have to open your heart. Let your guard down. The universe is urging you to start a new chapter, but you're trying to control by not stepping over that finish line from a situation that is done, done and over with. It's over. You have to close that door. Otherwise, you will continue to feel lonely and bitter. You have to find that confidence. You need to get creative. You need to hold your head up high. You need to be proud of who you are. Re regain that passion that's been lost. There's an opportunity to get back to, into your own element. Ground yourself. Come back to reality. Be strong. Let's be practical here. Nurture yourself. Love yourself first. There's an opportunity, I think, for a new soulmate connection. Right underneath this card, way down, is the King of Pentacles or the King of Coins. It's reversed, but that's a soulmate connection. If you would allow it to blossom, come back to reality, let go of the hurt, let go of the rejection, get out of your head, allow yourself to get caught up in new love. This is something you want. There's an opportunity for success here with a happy relationship with somebody new. Could be any sign because we have them all here. Whatever this is, there's a new, hence the word new, soulmate connection waiting for you. But you're going to have to release the past. Fully. Fully. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moments. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. This is a month of releasing the hurt. For good, for real. Taking that mask off, stepping outside of your comfort zone, breaking the chains. 
unbinding yourself from something that was negative, that wasn't well suited for you. It's about taking back control and getting back to your element, but getting back to yourself, getting back to your best. That's loving yourself first, forgiving and learning, leaving the past behind and letting this new opportunity blossom. This is a new deck. So I'm going to read from the deck that we are going to get you one of these. I'm going to have to just pick one because they're stick and I just want to see what I got here. The one with this one. I can't cover you up. That's not logical. First light. Oh, <laughs> wonderful. Beginning a new cycle. That is exactly what this is, too. A new day has begun in your life. You are at the beginning of a new cycle. It's time to release the old and start again. Wape the slate clean. Although it's often difficult to release familiar routines, situations, or relationships that no longer empower you, it's now time to set your sights on the future and let go of the past. I, they always do this for me, you know that. Anyway, it's time. It's time to let go of the past. There's an opportunity for a new beginning here that is divinely guided with those three threes. It's the answer to your prayers. The past is dead. Let it go. Stay tuned for your weeklies.